Hello to all of my Sagittarius and happy Sunday. It may be still Saturday where you are, but this reading is for the 20th of uh, August through the 20th of September. Let's get into it, Sagittarius. The moon is moving into Scorpio. So it's in Libra right now, moving from Virgo to Libra, then it's going to move into Scorpio. So by Monday, you should fully full it in Scorpio. And then of course, we're going to have a first quarter moon in your sign. So as it's moving through, it's giving you, taking you through all aspects of yourself, getting a feeling of like emotionally what you're going through. Also, the planets that are retrograde that coincide with those planets um, gives you a stronger feel for uh, those zodiac signs. Not the people, but the zodiac signs, right? So let's get into it. Let's get into it. Like I said, right now, the moon is in Libra. It's going to end after Libra. It's going to move into Scorpio. Let's do it. First card out of the deck is the full card. We have the three of cups. We have the king of wands, the king of pentacles, queen of cups, and also the page of cups, the full card. So source is saying to you, somebody feels liberated and free from something. Whatever it is that you liberated yourself from, it could be in your mind. Somebody definitely has compassion for something that you left behind. And that's all you needed to do was have compassion for something that you left behind. Some kind of new creativity is coming across your path. So congratulations to you all, uh, Sagittarius, that new creativity. It could be new love. It can be a new job. Something something new to be happy about, right? New opportunities coming across your path. A new news, something that's making you wealthier, right? Here we have the King of Pentacles. So congratulations to you. Remember, money is not just paper and coins. It's healthy relationships with people. Healthy, 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 right? We also have the King of Wands. So I see a lot of ideas coming up in your mind. I got, like I said, some new, something to be happy about, some good news coming your way. Make sure you are not checked out and thinking about something else where you don't even, you're not even able to even receive the good news that's coming your way. It can be anything. Sometimes people are, you got to make sure, sometimes people are like so focused on what you left behind and feeling manipulated and played and what ex relationship did this to you that new love could be sitting literally right in your face and somebody can't even enjoy it because or new opportunities are in your face so make sure you take it all in slow down and take it all in like smell it smell the goodness coming your way right here we also have the king of wands we have the tower card the strength card the eight of cups the six of cups and also the four of cups yeah, more cups, energy coming your way. So not only are you having childlike faith, and it's exactly what I was talking about, having childlike faith moving forward, saying, you know what? I'm going to operate in faith this time. I may have been manipulated in the past by whomever or whatever in a love relationship or working relationship, but not anymore. I've just, I've cleaned house. I've flushed all those toxins out of my spirit. Somebody's having a tower moment right now, and that's the awakening. Sources like get locked in and laser focused operating being meek meek is not the same as weak right you're not in the you're not in the in the jungle right and what i mean by that is that you're not in a you're not lost you know exactly what your your creative life purpose is that's what this card right here is all about is mars where are you putting your energy right mars is a planet of um action and assertion but it's also the planet of competition survival strength being cur being courageous and being daring. It's also a planet of anger, planet of where you putting your energy, fighting spirit, conflict. What are you fighting for? See, this moon in Libra is about fighting for your peace of mind. So why would you put yourself in positions that keep saying, I was manipulated, I was lied to, I was taken advantage of, victim, 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 victim mode. With sources saying, what lessons did you learn in the past? Use that water, that creativity to write some songs, to write a script for a movie, like to, you know, change people's lives, write a book. You know, all of that is creative energy. That's why you have some of the best love songs that came out of a, some, some deep, dark pain, some deep, dark spaces. Some of the best books and movie scripts were written from the darkest spaces. Sources saying, monetize it. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Just monetize it, Right. Instead of, woe is me, everybody keeps manipulating me, taking advantage of me, you should be sitting in there for five seconds. Okay, oop, let me see how I can monetize this. Not try to expose people and hurt other people, but how can I help people, right? 
But don't be counterproductive. Source is saying, step into your light. Step into your light. Toss all the negative energy about it in a, into a burning bowl and go make some money. Here we have the King of Wands. This King of Wands came out twice. King of Ideas. So somebody has some amazing ideas that's going to make them very, very wealthy. But again, it's learning how to turn it around. It's learning how to turn things around you know, for your good. Where did I learn from these things, right? And then operating in childlike faith. And you have ancestors that say operating in childlike faith. Here we have the King of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Tower card, the Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and also the Seven of Pentacles. So King of Cups, somebody is King of Ideas. You got the King and Queen of Cups. Source is saying to you, you're very wise, you're a very compassionate person. Use that compassion towards energies you may have felt like manipulated you or lied to you in some degree or hurt you in some way. Here the Tower card came out twice. Source is saying to you, listen, it's time for you to celebrate. Somebody's going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of their shoulder and like the nightmare is over. This is the nine of swords, right? Why do you, how do you think this movie came about, right? Somebody had to think about some kind of a nightmare on Elm Street, right? What was that about? End up making a whole lot of money, right? I saw this, uh, this video on, um, YouTube about uh, Stephen King was talking about the movie, it, the Pennywise, the evil clown and how that came about. But look how, look how well that did, right? Just you know, those ideas, if he, if he has set on those ideas and let it terrify him and ruin other areas of his life, I mean, we would have never known as an audience what was, you know, in his mind, you know, it came out on the movie screen, came out in a book, sold a lot. So source is saying to you, it's harvest time. It is harvest time and more money is coming across your path. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Sagittarius, like I said, with your experiences, it's not by coincidence, but you better use your ruling planet Jupiter, which is the luckiest planet. It's the, it's the planet of good luck and good fortune. You better use it to your advantage. You and Pisces are ruled by Jupiter. Pisces has a second uh, ruling planet, uh, Neptune, but both of you all are ruled by, I'm telling you, use it to your advantage. <laughs> use it to your advantage. Oracle 28, spirits of other worlds, tell me tales of the unknown. Tell me tales of the forbidden. That's right. Tell me tales of the forbidden. That's it right there. Because that right there, all of that water poured out and that fire could cause somebody to come across as if you're manipulative. It's like somebody needs to learn how to keep things close to the cuff and say, you know what? I'm about to monetize this. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not, I'm not, you know... Woe is me, all of that. Keep here. We have be still. A lot of good things are coming your way. A lot of good things are coming your way, Sagittarius. So get ready for it. Get your mind mentally prepared for it. Get yourself mentally prepared for it. And this reading is for the 20th of um the 20th of August through the 20th of September. That number 20 is about relationships, but that's zero. That number two is about relationships, healthy relationships. You don't want that to be out of alignment. The number zero is the God number. So zero behind that two expounds and expands that number. So you're like, okay, I have a great relationship with self who is God. I have a, a great relationship with self, right? Why do I need to project? Just because people may have projected their hurt and anger and frustration onto you, our bodies are made up of 70, 75% water, right? Just like this earth is covered by 70, 75% water. Source is saying to you, when people are projecting their hurt onto you or manipulation or whatever, thinking they're playing you and whatever the case may be, they are hurting themselves, right? So it's, they're not using their, that's why it's reiterated here, use your gifts and talents to help better mankind. That's what that last full moon was about. The source is saying, number nine, I am compassionate. It's your compassion that makes you shine. You are devoted to helping the greater good and have strong talent for speaking up for others. Your soul is most satisfied when you are being of service. That's right. That's the transformation right there. So you can get back to your happy self, being of service to other people. There is not a human being on this planet that can stop or block what source is already predestined for you here on earth. Not one, not one. They can try, but the only way they can come in is through your mind, you know, through those four elements, your emotions, that's your water. And we made up a large portion of water, right? But we are not 100% emotions, right? You also have your thoughts, that's your air, right? You know, you also have your ideas, that's your fire and your money. If they can't touch any of those things, if you don't give them permission to the, touch any of those things, then what they, some somebody will get it. 
Affirmations for energy. I am full of creative ideas. I'm alive and well. I am bold. I am healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. I hydrate my body with adequate water. My purpose is here and now. Today, I am blessed with an abundance of energy. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius, and I'll see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.